about half the population experience periods almost on a monthly basis, and yet it's something that nobody ever talks about. It's really, really difficult to actually find out what's going on for women around period poverty. No women at Girl in 2017 should have to face the indignity of not having access to sanitary products during menstruation. One in four women in education in Scotland struggled to access period products. You know, we face quite a lot of people saying this is ridiculous, there's no such thing as period poverty. Menstruation for years and years and years has been a, a real taboo. From you can't come into particular religious places when you're on your period, you can't cook, you can't shower, you can't go into the kitchen. All, the, all these kind of things have been existing um, around the globe, including in Europe, for centuries. I wanted to join this project because I wanted to help kind of lift the taboo of periods and get people like talking about them more because like it's a natural thing, like everybody goes through it. What do I know about periods? It happens around about one time a month to a lady. Period poverty is such a huge challenge because number one, there is little conversation around it that not everyone is talking about it because it's, it's, it's perceived as a women's issue, it's perceived as a girl's issue, and yet I think period poverty is an issue that affects all of us. I feel that just like condoms in this case that are given to people for free, governments should find ways of making sure that sanitary pads are free for every woman and girl.